Hello, I'm Paulo Shukarian, CEO and co-founder of Syracon. Thank you for tuning in today. So the other week, CISA, part of the DHS, announced that there, uh, a new pulse secure vulnerability was actively being exploited by Chinese hackers in attacks directed against US government institutions. An additional three vulnerabilities were also shown to have evidence of exploitation attempts. So we don't uh, know if they were successful or not in being exploited yet. One of the three is the famous pulse secure VPN vulnerability that we saw being very active at the start of the pandemic in a variety of attacks, including from Chinese uh, actors. So let's take a quick look at what Syracon says about these vulnerabilities. Um, and also you can read more in our blog post today. So we see here the Syracon user interface and listed I put in the four vulnerabilities in question. So first is the new one. And what you see here, let's click on, look at the history of the Psy rating. So right away, it has our max score, it's exploited in the wild. Um, and we see that even before the news material uh, was together about exploitation in the wild, and also before the date that NIST formally issued the CVE number, the Syracon platform was already tracking this as over four times more likely than average to be exploited, which is already putting it, say, in about the top third of vulnerabilities. And bear in mind, the Syracon platform is coming with this even before the CVSS score. And again, it catches those reports of early exploitation, maximizes the score right away. So our clients uh, have this information at hand. Now, likewise, looking at the other vulnerabilities, of course, you know, we all know about this PCS vuln from 2019 and exploits in the wild we're seeing in late 2019 and the uh, information on it um, has only continued to accelerate. So if we look at the Intel, you know, we had collected over 200 um, uh, pieces of intelligence about this and you see already um, we're seeing things in uh, in April, uh, here is the uh, report about the SVR, the Russian intelligence organization that was also exploiting this. And we talked about this the other week. So this one was a no brainer and it's been a no brainer for some time. Now let's look at the other two. These are kind of interesting because you see in the CVSS score, both are sort of middling. Um, depending on the version of CVSS you, you like better, it's still putting it between a six and a half and a 7.2. So, you know, it's at the high end of mediums or the low end of highs. Either way, you're looking at uh, about 60% of software vulnerabilities have a higher CVSS score than either of these two. Uh, yet now we're seeing exploitation attempts. Again, you know, here we're seeing uh, Syracon Sci rating say in that, uh, this uh, web user interface uh, vulnerability is at least seven times more likely to be exploited. Uh, and the second related vulnerability to this is three times more likely than average to be exploited. So again, it's putting it well above that middling status. We're probably talking again about top third of vulnerabilities or so, despite the, uh, the relatively low CVSS score. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and to read more about this topic, check out our blog and to learn more or understand which of your vulnerabilities are being threatened, please contact Syracon. Thank you.